All right, this is chapter two, lesson eight, solve percent problems. So a blank is an equation that shows that two ratios are equivalent. And that blank you're going to write proportion. So a proportion is an equation that shows that two ratios are equivalent. It is blank, it is a blank blank, one ratio compares a part to the whole. So in a percent proportion, one ratio compares a part to the whole. The other ratio is the equivalent percent written as a fraction with the denominator of 100. So how do you compare part and whole? So the first thing I have is a fraction. So I have two over five, two is my part and five is my whole. What do you call the part? Well, the part of any fraction is the numerator or the top number and the whole is the denominator or the bottom number, okay? Using the information in the ratio, fill in the others, okay? So you can see you have blank to blank and blank with the little colon also means to blank. So you're comparing two to five or you can write it as two to five like that with the semicolon in between, okay? So that's two different ways to write a ratio. Percent, two to five equals blank over 100. Well, five times what gave you 100? Five times 20 gave you 100. So two times 20 is 40. So 40 over 100 is the percent. So 40% of five equals two. So you can use number lines to find the whole. If you know the part and the percent, you can find the whole or the total. You have used bar diagrams to solve percent problems. Double number lines are another way to illustrate percents. You can also use the percent proportion, which is what I recommend using. The diagram uses a percent proportion to show that 75% of 32 is 24, okay? 75% of 32, so that's my whole. So of is your whole, right? Any word next, right next to of is your whole, and anything next to is is your part. So 24 equal, over 32 equals 75 over 100. All right, so let's look at some examples. So example number one says 10 is 25% of what number? So I can use a double number line to model 25% and 10, right? 25% I can break into increments of 25. So 25, 50, 75, 100. To model 25%, I divided the number line into four parts. I can also do the same thing with 10. I started zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, going up by tens. Write 10 at the 25% mark and I add 10 to each mark to find the whole. So the number 40 is at the 100% mark, so 10 is 25% of 40. For number two, country music makes up 75% of London's music library. Of Landon's music library. If he has downloaded 90 country music songs, how many songs does Landon have in his music library? I can use a double number line to model 75% and 90%. So again, I create my first number line from zero to 100% and break it into increments of 25 because I have 75. I can also do the same thing with the second number line. So I know 90 should go at 75, so that's where I start. So in order to get from zero to 90, I have two additional increments between zero and 75. So they become 30 and 60. So I go up by 30 every time. 
So in order to get to 100%, I would have 120. The number 120 is at the 100% mark, so Landon has 120 songs in his music library. For number 30, I use the percent proportion, or for number three, I use the percent proportion. 15 is 30% of what number? So 15 is my part. 30% I write as 30 over 100 and of what number? So I'm missing my whole. So 15 over blank equals 30 over 100. So then I can ask myself, 15 times what gave me 30? Well, 15 times two gave me 30. So I can do, well, what times two gives me 100? Or I can say 100 divided by two gives me what? Well, 100 divided by two gives me 50. So 15% or 15 is 30% of 50, my missing number. For number four, 225 is 75% of what number? So I need to figure out what goes in each of these blanks. So in this first blank, 225 is, remember is is a key word, 225 is my part. 75% goes over 100, 75 over 100. So I'm looking for this missing blank here. So I'm gonna ask myself, 75 times what gave me 225? Well, 75 times three gave me 225. So 100 times three, which gives me 300. So 225 is 75% of 300. All right, on page 41, there are a couple of try it problems. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, and try the try it problems out. When you're done, come back and we'll try them again together. All right, now that you've tried the try it problems on your own, let's try them together. The first one says 30 is 50% of what number? So 30 is blank and equals 50 over 100. So I'm gonna ask myself, what can I divide in order to get here, right? So what I can also do is I can multiply. 100 times 30 gives me 3,000. So this times this is three thousand and then I'm going to divide by 50 which equals 60 so 60 is my answer I do the same thing for letter B 60 is 20% of what number 60 is my part I have 20 over 100 well 20 times 3 gives me 60, so 100 times three gives me 300, okay? Letter C says, Peyton spent 60% of her money to buy a new television. If the television cost 300, how much money did she have? Okay, well, she spent $300, so that's her part. I don't know what her whole is, because I don't know how much money she has. Over 60 over 100, okay? 60 times five gives me 300. So 100 times five gives me 500. So she has $500. All right, letter D, 75 is 15% of what number? So 75 over blank equals 15 over 100. 15 times five gives me 75, so 100 times five is 500. For letter E, nine is 36% of what number? 
So I have 9 over blank equals 36 over 100. Well, 9 times 4, or 36 divided by 4, gives me 9. So 100 divided by 4 is 25. For letter F, 7 is 70% of what number? So 7 over blank equals 70 over 100. Well, 7 times 10 gives me 70, or 70 divided by 10. So 100 divided by 10 is 10. For letter G, 7 is 35% of what number? So I have 7 over blank equals 35 over 100. 35 divided by 5 gives me 7. So 100 divided by 5 gives me 20. At the bottom of this page, I have a nice little infograph. Part is the number next to is. Whole is the number next to of. And percent is the number next to the percent sign. Okay? And that's how I set it up. Part over whole equals percent over 100. On page 42, you should have glued in this orange paper. And this orange paper is actually another foldable that you can use to help with the is of. So remember, is is your part, of is where your whole is, and it equals the percent over 100. It always equals your percent over 100. And that is the end of chapter two, lesson eight. And actually that's the end of chapter two totally.